The United States is interested in their own internal domestic politics. They really don't have any interest in uh, recognizing what is uh, the public opinion in, in Egypt. And, you know, they're concerned about the, the Zionist lobby, which is not only the organized Jewish community, but also the, the Christian Zionists who have, uh, you know, through money and organization and be able to putting pressure on American politicians and, of course, helping them uh, be able to control the election process that they're obsessed with their own internal politics. Egypt's opinion from the American point of view has little bearing on uh, the internal politics of the United States. So they're quite prepared to sacrifice Egyptian public opinion. They're not interested in justice for the Palestinians. So the vast majority of, of the Egyptians are in fact in favor of at least some sort of justice for the Palestinians, compensation for the land that was stolen from them. Um, they want Israel to adhere to the agreements um, that they've made with regard to settling the, the Palestinian issue, certainly at, at a minimum with the, the West Bank and Gaza being independent and viable states. And Israel has uh, just been playing a game and stringing along uh, the, uh, the the Palestinians and really the world opinion um, with regard to just, uh, you know, sort of a, a, a facade of, of having, trying to pursue peace. Um, the Americans are, actually gave sort of a green light to the overthrow of uh, the democratically elected Marassi leadership in uh, and the Muslim Brotherhood in, in Egypt. But mind you, Marassi also created a lot of problems for himself in that um, he uh, was behaving like a, an authoritarian leader, not respecting democratic rights of, of others. And, you know, there was a lot of opposition to him, which, of course, the, the army partly seized on and, and, you know, for their own interest. But also, I suppose, there was uh, you know, some legitimate concerns with regard to the government. But if you're going to have recognized democracy, you have to, you know, allow the democratic process to, to operate. But the Americans are only interested in democracy if they can control it and they're happy with the outcomes. If, if democracy results in a government that they're, they don't like, then, of course, they're quite prepared to sacrifice democracy. And there's no talk of democracy for, you know, the for the in Saudi Arabia or Kuwait or Qatar, some of these other countries which have feudal regimes and certainly don't reflect uh, the public opinion of uh, you know the people on the street with regard to the Palestinian issue or interference of the Americans into the area or uh, the Western and American interests in, in controlling oil resources in the area. So you know the, the whole process ends up being distorted, where you have very strong support on in the you know, in Egypt and other Arab countries for the Palestinians and opposition to Israel's attacks like on Gaza and Lebanon, you know, the list goes on and on. But uh, the Arabs are partly responsible for their own problem because they're, they're so weak and so divided and so disorganized and easily manipulated. And uh, the Muslim community also could be much stronger. Now, the European community has just recently uh, imposed uh, some very severe uh, restrictions on Israel's trade. Anything coming out of the West Bank is now prohibited. And that actually is putting some meat behind uh, the European uh, sort of rhetoric in support of the Palestinians. It's going to have a huge impact on, on Israel. But the United States, in violation of its own laws, has never done anything, never put any pressure on Israel, has never cut, but rarely cut back any of its financial support on Israel. They have done it in a few occasions. Uh, Jimmy Carter forced the Israelis to withdraw from Lebanon when he was in power when Israel invaded Lebanon in 1978. The George Bush administration, the, uh, the senior one, actually did put some pressure on the Americans in, in terms of, uh, or not the Americans, the Israelis, uh, by cutting back some of its funding and holding holding back. But in, in the long run, they are more interested in supporting Israel for historical reasons, for reasons which I think are a little too complicated to get into here, but certainly because of American uh, public opinion. And it's it's not even American public opinion. It's just the organized power within the American political system, with the Christian Zionists, the organized um, Jewish community, which generally supports Israel and takes a hard line. There are some new developments, like with the um, with in the United States, where you've got Jewish Voice for Peace that's providing some more balance. They also have a, a new lobby group that's coming forward, which is still Zionist, but at least is trying to put some checks on the excesses of the extreme right wing Israeli governments, which of course are expanding the settlements in the West Bank and have really made uh, little or no effort to uh, to try to resolve the the, the Palestinian issue. So the, the, it's it's from a, the Arab point of view, from the Palestinian point of view, from the Muslim world's point of view, these are all very, very serious problems. 
but there is no serious attempt to pressure the Americans to uh, to change their policy, both internally but also from external forces. There, you know, Syria, Iran, a few uh, voices do, uh, you know, oppose uh, American foreign policy, but uh, you know they're isolated. Uh, they're usually embargoed, and right now the West is is trying to overthrow the Assad government, uh, primarily because I think it pursues an independent policy. It's not really democracy. They're just uh, prepared to uh, to try to destroy any voices that prepared to stand up to them and, and present a contrary view. But it's not democracy, of course, because there's no attempt to bring democracy in the American client states like Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, the other feudal regimes in the in the Gulf, United Arab Emirates, for example. So democracy is not really the game. It's all about power politics and control and you know manipulation in the interests of the United States and some other Western powers, but not in the interests of the people of the Middle East.